dude. Like, no, you have to fucking be bumper to bumper, otherwise these jerk-offs fucking... No, I see. No, it's no, like no, driving no. to Vegas or, or San Francisco or Phoenix. If you're not tailgating, the guy ain't fucking front of you. It's not that different from Chicago. Not that different. You have a lot more accidents out here, though. People drive faster. We just drive worse, I think. Well, the freeways are also designed a little safer out here. Mm. We've been ahead of the curve with like these guardrails and these things here. Those were all yeah, and look at all the black scuff marks. Yeah, but no, but no, there are there are tests. That you won't go over it. Well, yeah, I'll take you your word for it. I mean, I'll take your word for it. What's up, everybody? Hey, 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 we're live. We're live. How does it look? We're on my um, Samsung phone, the one that was uh, Buffy McBufferson. Uh, we still have 30 minutes to drive. This is gonna. This is taking us a while. Yeah, traffic is a little more than what we thought. Yeah. It looks good. Okay, good. I did some tests. I actually took the phone apart, and I soaked some things in water, and then put them in uh, a bag of rice, <laughs> and then fed reassembled. Them to <laughs> right, fed them to Poppy. Waited a few <laughs> days. Retrieved said CPUs from the backyard, um, sanitized. Uh, oh, sorry, so don't yell at me yet. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and there you go. Woo. There goes an organ donor. There we go. Oh, he's nice and tan, too. Well, you know, hope he doesn't drink. Somebody might need that fucking liver and kidneys. Um, Okay, let me say hi in here. Denise Lynn is here. I am. Hi, guys. Denise Lynn is looking on point today on point. in the uh, uncreepiest way possible. <laughs> a la naturel. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through a list. You ready? Let's see how fast yeah. I can do this. Hi, Jet. Camper ran 73. Stop crazy, Elaine C. Gullet. Uh, dejected tomato. Demand your health. John Hickman. Holly. <gasps> no. Pink clock. Pink clock. Pink clock. Yeah, my daughter wanted to buy a pink clock. They're actually very pretty. Okay, that's about all I can do in, like, because I can. It, it's too fast, guys. But hi to everyone. James Freeman's uh, flat tire says, how about the, his big nuts? Okay, James Freeman's flat tire. Wow. I hope you got tinfoil to wrap around your cabs. There you go. Uh, no, there's this cool new thing called sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lacey. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy birthday, America! Happy birthday to who else? Oh, Sirius Black turned seven today. That's right, that's right. Um, Sirius Black got some uh, toys. Demand your, wealth set. Demand your health says we want to see to do something. You will. Yeah, you will, don't you worry. Will. I promise. We get to a thousand likes for the... Uh, <laughs> and the clothes start, no, start the, going on. For the ginger reveal. Bell for Freedom. Her beautiful Bell for Freedom is in here. She's so good. Look at her. Michael Malloy show. Hi, Michael Malloy. And again, happy birthday. Everybody wish happy birthday to Michael Malloy's. Uh, whatever. I forget how you say it. I missed it, but happy birthday. Happy birthday. I can't even believe the ways, the, the route that it took us. It did take us, like... Bizarre, right? So, RV Hopper says this is old stomping grounds. Okay. Downy Commerce. Ooh, Commerce Casino. Al Corrado, thank you very much. A super chat. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to Alcor Audits, please do. Bob's supposedly 
Uh, is Polly Glocks here? Is Polly Glocks going to be in, in attendance in person? Just curious. I don't know. That's what I was told. I think he lives behind the orange curtain. It's very possible. I know he lives close by to Fullerton, so he did say he was going to try. Are you guys going to stay live or jump off and come back? Uh, stay, stay live. Yeah, Johnny's going to stay live. I'll just I'll, I'll go live once we get there. Welcome in everyone and happy 4th of July. Thanks for spending some of your time with us, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's some jerk off flashing this fucking lights behind me. Like Hello. Oh, happy birthday, Dewey. Dewey says it's his birthday. Dewey Decimal System? And the white Prius is the fucking cuck who fucking flashing his lights at. Dude, where are you gonna go, bro? I know, right? Don't drive angry. He's on his phone. He's watching the live stream. That's probably what it was. And he's, he's probably just trying to get our he's attention. He's angry. Yes. He's been uh, at Johnny50 living for <laughs> since we've started. And he hasn't gotten my attention because I'm operating a motor vehicle currently and uh, wish to attain some level of safety. Stop crazy and lucky bear. Allegedly. Yeah. So Waze took us from North Hollywood out to Glendale. <laughs> Rather than just going south, there's the 101 and the 5. Well, really the 101. Uh, it didn't even take us to the five, it took us to the two freeway past the five to come set. I mean, was, sometimes Waze is just like a try hard, like it's just a sweat. Like it, you, you do all of this extra maneuvering to shave three minutes off of your fucking drive time on a, on a 90 minute. After a 40 route. hour or a 40 right. minute mother may I. Right. Also, we may or may not have chocolate croissants from Jack and the Crack <laughs> in the vehicle. Prove it. And you know what? Once we leave the vehicle and they're in here, you know how warm and gooey they're going to be when we get back in after the car has been 140 uh, degrees? Yeah. Well, poor audits just gave you <laughs> buy some egg rolls, egg roll man. Thank you. Thank you, Alcor, for the super chat. That's very sweet. You gotta get past it, dude. Yeah. Close your eyes. I was gonna say, just close your eyes and open your mouth and you'd be surprised. Why is it, Jim? 
show phones does like it look like your thing is going. You know, like a, when you show a computer or something. Oh, it's, you can, what is that? It's the frame rate. The frame rates don't align. So that that miles per hour that's being because it's digital, mm -hmm. it has a refresh rate. So it's being drawn 60 times per. If it's at 60 hertz, it's 60 times per second. It's drawing the screen. The camera also has. So like it, it just picks up. It just picks up the refresh rate visually. That's why you see. Uh, it'll do the same thing with uh, the new headlights. Um, I don't know. Just something. Yeah, I just wasn't sure because I would see that. I can't read. I'm, I'm looking. Somebody super chatted. Good toy. Good toy. Good toy. Happy, Thank you, man. Happy treason day. Yeah. Um. And my discovery, my discovery channel mind is always fascinated of why they use. We're we're on a concrete freeway right now, of the option of using concrete versus, you know, pavement with the, the black shit and the you know, um, and I think the concrete is a little more expensive initially, but it is uh, oh, yeah, you don't far melt. far more durable and doesn't melt. Flags there. There was the United States flag. There's the California flag. And what's the other flag that they flag? I don't know. Y'all just flag whatever you want. Well, maybe it was a governmental building or something. Yes. Happy veteran or happy Fourth of July to all our veterans. To everyone. So I put the Wikipedia page for Kelly Thomas uh, in my Facebook and Twitter. If uh, mods want to post a link to just a, a brief, the Wikipedia brief background on what the story. I'll tell you, when I was here last time, I was here last year, two years ago, I think last year, but when I, when I went to Kelly's Corner, when you walk in there, there's a memorial that they have on light poles, and there's pictures, and there's all kinds of things. It's amazing. Have you ever walked somewhere where you just feel the atmosphere just change yeah. and get heavier? That's, that's, that's how it was. No, the LAPD didn't blow anything up yet. Today. Still early. white noise generator apps too on your phone that you can download and you can put it over like a Bluetooth speaker so that it's fucking deafening white noise or you know some tropical rainforest thunder and rain like just some kind of other um, audio sensory thing to drown out any of the uh, fireworks from outside. Yes, Brenda and I do, and um, it broke my heart. I was kind of out of commission yesterday, but I realized that, um, you know, he's in a much better place right now. And as much as I'll miss him and seeing that smile and that 
little twinkle in his eyes. You know, this life that we live in is is, is hard, and it's it, with all the all the advantages and privileges we have, it's still hard. Imagine when you did, if you didn't have those things. Yeah. So. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm heartbroken and I, I... Have diabetes and living on the fucking street. It's like, you know, I mean... Yeah. You know, I drank my, I, I drank my fire bolts home last night. So thank you. It's, it's tough. Kelly Thomas, again, um, I think the mods just put something up in there because somebody asked who Kelly Thomas was. He was a homeless man that lived... Um, homeless in Fullerton. Schizophrenia. And he had, right, he had a, a actually it was a mild case of, of schizophrenia, but he was, he, listen, mental abuse in our country is criminalized. Does anybody disagree with me? You know, and exactly what happened is they approached him. Thank you for a super chat, somebody. And they beat, his, beat, a, beat him to death. And that is... fuck up in this bitch. I'm showing you. You wait, guys. You can laugh all you want. One day you're going to wake up and you're going to pick up your phone and go, what? I remember. It took me a, <laughs> it took me a couple of months to figure out I needed reading glasses. You know what I mean? I was like, I was trying to read like labels on, oh, on yeah. uh, like an aspirin bottle or something like that, or I forget what. And I was like, why am I having such a hard, like I, I couldn't connect dots. Yeah. Yeah. I um, well, and it's also an admission of, like, you're getting older, you know what I mean? But, like, I mean, had somebody told me, I would have been like, oh, that's what's good. like. Come on, didn't you, didn't you, I, like I told you earlier, I, 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 I laughed at my mom sometimes when she was like, I can't, I can't read this, this fucking stuff is too old. And I'd be like, la, 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 I didn't read it right off of her. Yeah. Also, um, I was just going over the, the Kelly Thomas Wikipedia, and it said that it was one of of the worst police beatings in American history. It was terrible. And if you see the photo of him, he is unrecognizable. Defense tried to blame Kelly's death in the hospital. Yeah, they tried to blame, oh. uh, they tried to blame everybody. You see, those cops, I'm telling you, as soon as, you know what? It, I've watched this, I've watched the videos so often, but the other day I watched it again, as heartbreaking as it is, and what I noticed and what really got me is something that I heard from cops all the time. He was asking Kelly what his name was, and Kelly said, I'm not going to tell you, you know? And he said, well, if you're not doing anything wrong, you might as well tell me what your name is. How many times have we heard crap yeah. like that, right? Cop didn't like it. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. There was a puddle of blood when they left him, when, when they left. They didn't even want to put him in the police car because they said that there was, it was, it, it was, it was terrible. I can't even. Yes, as he was screaming for his dad, it broke my heart because he kept saying, daddy, daddy, they're killing me. And he was apologizing. He was apologizing to the, to the cops as they're killing him. They beat his head in with a flashlight broke tasers, hitting him with tasers. It was... Yeah, and again, this can happen to anybody, guys. You don't think it can? This this is, this happened to a cop's son. All right? Yeah. And the ginger, so that adds the bond with Denise Lynn. Yeah. Kelly? Thank you for super chat, somebody. That was Magic Jinka? Magic Ninja. Sorry. Magic Chinka? <laughs> wow. I don't have glasses. So you went from Ninja to Chinka? Like, <laughs> wow. Asshole. I think. <laughs> don't hold it against me. I, I still haven't found my reading glasses. I just found sunglasses. So you're lucky I can even see these, these things. things. But, yeah, it was terrible. Absolutely. It, it, it was horrible. And no, the cops, of course, were not, were not, uh, charged 
No, they were found not guilty. Well, that's what I mean. They weren't found. Yeah. And then one of the other. And I don't want to bring my fucking shit, but everybody that was like, I got so much hate on my Pasadena Penny's video. Like, why didn't you bring it to court? And I'm like, you mean the same court that everybody's on the same team, dude. The people right. that issued you the ticket is the same courts. Like, so the people that beat you to death are on the same team as the people that are, you know, yep. going to say that, yes, our cohorts beat you to death. No, of course they're not going to say that. <laughs> Rummers that I'm back. I made it to the store, got beer and wrote cold. Hills, yeah, yeah. That's the way to go. Yeah, not, yeah, not guilty. Exactly. It was terrible. Again, um, you guys, if you just, you know, look it up a little bit later on or whatever, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see why this. Well, you got it. You got to hear the uh, the body camera footage. Mm -hmm. Of it is just heartbreaking. You see these hands? You see these hands? These hands? And Kelly says, "Yeah, I see them. What about them?" And the cop says, "These hands are about to fuck you up." And that's exactly what he what he did. It was terrible. It was terrible. I mean, the karmic implications of, of some of these cops is is staggering. Well, it, imagine you know. how that. Imagine, imagine how that. This is why we say don't call the police, right? Imagine how that person that was at the slide bar, because that's how this all all started. There was a person that called saying that they they thought that somebody was in the parking lot. Breaking um, into vehicles. Going, yeah, trying to get into vehicles. So, Cream City News sent you. Something about a balloon knot? I'm guessing. You know what? I can't Denise do this. Lynn is. I'm just going to find them right Denise now. Denise Lynn just threw her phone out the window. I did. She's done. We're going to turn around. Even though we just got the Fullerton, we're going to turn around and go home. Yeah, we're done. Oh, wow. Fireworks for sale over here on the right. LAPD can stack up. Yep. Oh. I, I recognize that guy. That's an off-duty cop behind there. You got some nugs there, too. Look. Did I not bring glasses? Oh, hell no. I'm going to be blind all day, Jeremy. Guys, you're going to have to forgive me. We can stop at a shelter and pick up a German Shepherd. That would probably be a good idea. Sure, made sure I had my package of edibles here, right? Yum, yum, yum. So tomorrow would be 10 years to the day is, is, is why we're here. Right. No, I must have dropped him on the way in, baby. There's an Amazon Fresh store. See? Everything is fresh from the Amazon. Well, Amazon Fresh is what delivers. All right, guys. I apologize. And they use uh, slave labor of uh, I thought they treated native I, Brazilians I, in the wild. Like, <laughs> with... You're such an idiot. I thought Amazon treated their employees pretty good. Oh, uh, no. No? No, 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 no. They're, they're one of the some of the worst. They have tracker. They they have some kind of tracker on them. Like if they, like they they are tracked everywhere in the warehouse where they go, like to see if they're moving and. Oh, nice. If you go to the rest, like I mean, how many times you go to the rest? Like it is. Yeah. Uh, it is like the Chinese. I hit that with my dog to protect my dog, though. Oh, uh, so there's a POW MIA flag. Maybe that's the. All right. Um, yeah. Why don't we stop at a drugstore and get you some glasses? Glasses. Yeah, that would be a because good idea. I won't be able to read anything. You're not gonna be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I apologize. I did grab them. Um, Just didn't bring them. Yeah. It was. I've been kind of out of it the past day or so, and again, I drank a little too much Fireball last night. Um, 
sorry. I'm wow, this crazy. restaurant is called Sushi Bomb. Sushi Bomb. So, what is this? Do you have electric buses out here? Uh, no, they're uh, CNG, compressed natural gas. Okay. So, they don't have that diesel. Stink? Yeah. Burn, oil, smell. Uh, thank you, Magic Ninja, for the... <laughs> Machinga? PayPal. <laughs> Weed. Keep your eyes. I am. I'm, I'm looking for Walgreens or CVS. When you're not looking for them, they're everywhere. It's like when I was looking for, remember, for Chase Bank. We'll have one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chiropractor that makes a uh, house call or a car call. Car call. That's right. You got a ginger stuck in the car. I know. I took it off for a second. I promise. Wow, this Ralph has uh, gasoline. Is that okay? Well, then I'll give you. All right, let's. All right, all right, all right. Did I, I miss the turn? Yeah, well, we'll go in the back. North Justice Center? What is that? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No. Security. Uh, security. Security. He doesn't look too happy either. Nah. Probably hot AF. Although it's not really that hot out here, right? Mm, it says 82. Okay. Well, which... Warm. Look, I can buy fireworks on the Yeah. We can drop a dime on our neighbor. Fucker. Sorry. That last boom last night really got me mad. Cause it's scary. Okay. Oh, uh, Denise, try to, try to wait till the car comes to a stop. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna pull right in here, Denise. <laughs> we'll do that. Wow. Uh, Denise literally opened the door while we were rolling. Hold on, I need to make a K 
camera adjustment to the GoPro. Drugstore near me. All right, there's a CVS a mile away. Under the seat to see if it fell underneath there because I know I grabbed them because they were a new, they were a new pair, still in the cellophane. I'm sorry. Things never seem to go as planned. But I guess that's part of life, too. Um, going back. Here a tag or package for you. Oh, I bet you do. I just drove down the fucking left like he Wow. I'm telling I'm you. I'm not even gonna. No. Mm -mm. Uh. How's your breakfast? Good. Camp out, wait for two, wait for them to open Tuesday morning. Dispersed camping. Uh, there's a dam.
Fresno, Fresno. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, he's watching, listening, but he's not in the chat. Can somebody please tell me? Thomas Kelly is. Oh, Kelly Thomas. Tammy Flo. Uh, mods, can you guys post the link to the, the Wikipedia page or? Uh, one of the worst oh, fuck whores. Oh, CBS, yay. Fucking whores. Mm -hmm. Um No, the uh one of the worst beatings in uh US police beatings in US history. It was it, it was the worst I saw I've ever seen. Because they beat him to death. Literally beat him to death. Bad as Rodney King's was, this was even worse. And it's funny, at Rodney King time, I saw a different video than y'all saw. So, or yeah. I should say, I saw more video than what most people saw. From that same camera? From the same day, um, same time. And. Um, what do you mean, back at the station or? I, I just, I'm just gonna say, what I'm gonna say is that even, this is, this is what, it, what, what it comes down to, too. Also, is that even after seeing what I saw at that point, I still believe, and I still justify, when they said that this was supposed to be, this is why this happened, that he was going for her weapon and such and such. So I see how, I, I see how people can get, yeah, you know, fooled. I mean, well, we're taught we're taught as children to obey and trust the police. We're spoon-fed this from infancy. You know, you have an issue, you go to the police. If you have problems, you go to the police. Yeah. Unfortunately, my problems have been. If you're too. white and you don't like your black neighbor, you go to the police. Yeah. You think somebody looks sketchy outside? You call the police. Oh, so they blow them away. It's not your fault, right? Yeah. Should have been in my neighborhood. I'll wait till you stop this time. Wow. <laughs> Barely. Jesus. Sorry. Ah. My God. All right, you guys. So I am in the chat here. Welcome, everybody. Hit the like button. Um, we're probably five minutes away from... Um, where we need to be. Mm. Oh, well. Six minutes. Andy Pork Chop. Click over here. Da -da -da. Joe Cool. Tapatios Cop Watch. Jet. No, I didn't. Jet. Amsterdam Dutch. Lacey R. DJ Plast. Top Cat. Dan Lowe, Sulfur, Tony G. Uh, what's the plan when you get there? Uh, we're just going to hang out and see what's um, going on. We're a little late. Um, there was an immense amount of traffic here, so. Craigslist, Ross Khan. Yeah, don't worry, Tapatios. And look related to Louis C.K.? No. 
Seattle Judy, what's up, Kayla? Uh, I don't exactly know if it's a protest, a demonstration, or a vigil, Sulfur. That is a really good question. Uh, we're about to find out. Get out. Yeah? I didn't even look what color I just grabbed. You didn't even pay for them. Let's I get didn't. out of here. Hurry, 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 hurry. License plate number. No, nope. no, they don't. Oh, that's right. I put that other one yep. on the back. I forgot yep, about yep, that. Yep. We're not live, right? Nope. Anyways, so. well, I bought some plates down at MacArthur Park. Oh, good. I'm flipping on my car later. Hello. So, also, I want to give a shout out to uh, that female sergeant last night. At the end of our live stream. The one that was playing with you? Yeah, she was she was cool. Oh, all right. It's uh it's really not that um it's really not that difficult uh, to be human. For some. For some it's beyond. Yeah. So I'm just really excited that I was able to uh, drink 10 Red Bulls and take my phone apart last night. So that's pretty impressive. I mean, those little screws, I mean, they are tiny, but I had one of those like magnifying glass things with the ring light on mm -hmm. it. And I mean, it was like, you just went to town, huh? work, the workbench. <laughs> Um, I mean, those are like eye gra eye eye eyeglass screws. <laughs> eyeglass. Eyeglass. Eyeglass glass. <laughs> oh. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's saying it's 81, 82. And I'm just glad that I got this phone working because oh, yes. it does way better at um, thermal regulation than the Pixel. Yeah, I don't know why, but my, um, because I have a S10 and then I have the iPhone, the um, iPhone gets out way, way yeah. quicker. Listen, it's not an easy task to engineer no. uh, heat dissipation off of the processor because if it was if it, if it were that easy they, they would have been doing it long ago right. uh, also my pixel started overheating after the sun went down yesterday briefly it gave me it gave me a warning of you know there'll be limited functions because the phone is too hot I was like really yeah and it wasn't even charging because a lot of times when you charge your phone right you increase the heat too. So you, I mean, if your phone is ever overheating, you first thing you do is to take it off the charger. Yeah, I remember uh, last time when I was here, I had to, when I was doing some of the um, streams outside, I would have to go in the house and put it in the freezer. Um, I had a, uh, a waitress back in the eighties Used, she used to go. But we I'm worked old. at a Bennigan's, and she used to go into the walk-in freezer. She'd have like a <laughs> like a, a, a table of six men, and she'd go into the walk-in <laughs> freezer, and then she'd come out and be like, "Hi guys." I won't ask why. <laughs> and she made the big money. I bet. Hi guys, what can I get for you? Listen. 
Can we get a round a, of drinks for everybody? There is nothing sweeter than a drunk man, you serving them alcohol and them giving you, you know, $50 on top of what, just because of how you look. It's yeah. a lovely thing. I waitress three years, I know. Bartended. Look at that big India. <gasps> Look at that. Holy fuck, it is Look like at that it, red, guys. Can you it's see that? In the wild. It's just growing wild. This is cute little. Now, when I was here last time I came here, I didn't realize, I, I, I don't know, I didn't realize how cute this little place was. Yeah, it is a cute little. It's like from the night. It looks like it's from like from the 30s or 20s, and they just kind of. Well, it reminds me of home. I have, there's places on, like where my mom lived and... Yeah, it reminds me of downtown Ramsey in New Jersey where I yeah, grew up. Yeah, I mean, downtown I anywhere, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about 10 people. That breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Really does. Well, and sadly, uh, how many people I know. have been killed? Like, I mean, it's... I know. You have to share the... You know, I mean... Get ready to go. Yeah. Is Kim Sims in the chat, anybody? If she is, she is a fucking superhero. What's going on, dude? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got here a little late. was so. the traffic? It's fucking brutal, dude. Dude, this morning I had to take my nephew to Universal. And also 40 minutes. Now? He's like, oh, you can pick me up like a nine. I'm like, yeah, it's going to take probably a half. Yeah, it just. It was just really weird around the North Hollywood area there and stuff. So, um, so that's Kelly's uh, dad right there in the khaki shorts, white tennis shoes, and the gray shirt talking to Denise. Uh, so Paul Glocks is here. He said that the Orange County Register, which is a local newspaper, was here. Uh, earlier taking pictures asking questions she was asking me what do you think needs to be done 
Yeah, and uh, with the volume of people that have been killed by police, you know, and you know, there's only so many people to go around, and the stories dissipate over time, and out of sight, out of mind, and, oh, uh, well, you know, it's a weekly event of a new person getting shot and killed or beaten up by the police or some horrific, yeah, you know what I mean? And it's just like, it's like, it, well, it's like, but I, you know, and I think it's orchestrated by the people that, you know, run things just like all of the mass shootings you know what i mean like oh wow one more mass, you know and then we're just totally desensitized to it yeah. and be like oh well w uh, which mass shooting in austin or you know what i mean or whatever yeah. you know um the one from you know 2014 or you know Yeah, yes. They were asking me a bunch of questions. That's, yeah. like, that's good. I mean, it's... She's act, they're actually going to do like a... Like a continuing story. Good. I mean, because it's... It's not going to be like they just throw it in the paper and... Listen, and if the, those of you that are not from California or from the United States, Orange County is a very affluent, for the, for the most part. I mean, not that you can't get shot by, you know, gangbangers in Orange, but uh, Orange County is very affluent. Uh, Laguna Beach, Newport Beach, yeah, Mission Viejo, all the way down to like, way down towards San Diego, the ranch, Rancho Santa Margarita, um, uh, Costa Mesa, there's some really nice, uh, this is uh, Anaheim is here, which is where Disneyland is. And you could get shot in Anaheim. Um, uh, but Huntington Beach, there, there's there's some really, really, really uh, nice and, to state the obvious, uh, a lot of white conservative people here. So, a lot of bootlickers too. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was just telling me about one of the DAs had the total case right there. And they had all the evidence against the cop. And because there was another case pending, they didn't want to burn that, that cop. Of course. So they didn't. Of course. They, they booked him, but we never saw any pictures of him being booked. Right. The other two, they were all spread out. Right. Um, also, just at FYI, because they're, they're all friends, okay? Exactly. The, the DA, the judges, the prosecutors, the defense attorney. Like, so one of the things, I've got a friend of mine, he's a criminal defense attorney. And when I was. Uh, he wasn't able to take my case, but he, he said something very, very, very interesting to me, which opened my eyes. And he said, if you ever call a criminal defense attorney to represent you, and they say, oh, I know that judge really well. We play golf every Friday. Run, don't walk. Because, and, and because, but the lawyer would say, I, I know him, we're going to get you a good deal. And he, my lawyer friend, made the point of 
whose relationship is more important, their 10 to 20 year relationship between the lawyer and the judge, or you who they're never gonna fucking see again. So they're not, you're not gonna get a fucking good deal when your defense attorney says, oh, I know the judge, we're gonna, you know. So, which, it made perfect sense once I heard it, but you know, I would have bought the lie yeah, from the attorney. Because that's what they tell you. Right. right. Just, oh, he's my buddy. We'll yeah. get you hooked up. Well, and we are, right? We're, we're brought up to believe yeah. the people in, you know, authority. No, I'll up. Did he sell some seat? How was it, Sam's Hook today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, box of nugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Denise is looking like a nug today, you guys. I showed yes, Johnny. I got, a, I got a thing from, um, what was it, from Canex or something. It's a special on all nugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was cute. Uh, um, so. Yeah. Yeah. In series black seven birthday cake today. Yeah. And he's gonna be spoiled. I know he's here last year. I know he was recording. He's coming up for your lectures. Getting pictures because his pole is off. Yeah. Is this is this where the incident took place? Yeah. Where? Yeah, taking down, taking down plates. I'm sure he was taking down plates. And Where? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, he was the dad was telling the story of how the plane started. The backpack. Did you hear about the backpack? Yeah. He was just trying to find the owner of the backpack in the first place. Well, cops love to escalate. Yeah. They so. escalate. Yeah. Again, like I said, we saw it on the watch I'm going to flip this around. I'm gonna, you, you want me on camera? This is better. Okay. I'm going to flip this around on this. All right, here we are with uh, Polly Glocks and Denise Lynn. Um, so, uh, tell us again about the, the, the backpack story. So, the so backpack story is Kelly found a black backpack over here behind us. And it happened to be one of the employees that works at the train station. So Kelly was actually, he left, the guy left the backpack outside, had to go back upstairs. So Kelly saw the backpack and the keys, and he was looking for the owner. And that's when the cops came and escalated the whole thing. Well, which is, which is really interesting, because police, what police don't realize, and the bootlickers, when, when you, like, when you say, oh, here come a bunch of goons with guns showing up, and they're like, you idiot, all cops are issued guns. Dude, you don't understand the escalation of bringing somebody with a gun to a fucking... I mean, what would be the difference? It's sort of like somebody that's open carrying, and you're not used to it, and they walk up, and there's a guy with a fucking sidearm, and you're like, this could go really wrong really quickly for me, or for anybody here. So, this idea that Cops showing up isn't an escalation in and of itself. It's fucking horseshit, you know. Um, and you've got a baton, pepper spray, and a taser, and the gun lasts. I saw a TikTok with a guy who was talking. He's a uh, former military, and he was talking about the rules of engagement. Uh, what was he like? He said there were like six S's or something like that. Sh see, shout, shove, shoot. Oh, oh, warning shot, and then shoot. Like shoot is like the sixth or seventh uh, on the on the list. Like there, there's, they had rules of engagement in Afghanistan with fucking IED laden fucking trucks coming in that the, the police here don't. That they had better protocols in place overseas. 
His son was 135 pounds. All these guys were two, 200 plus. Oh, they're probably all yoked up yeah. and juiced up yeah. and yeah. sterile. Yeah. He was hands on the whole time. Uh, he was even saying his son had found the wall like a month or two earlier. You know where his son went? He went to a person's house. Here's your wallet. Uh, where's where's the police station? Right down the street. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to stop by that. Church bells. Very appropriate. What time is it? Top of the hour or something? Uh, Tony G, what happened to the pigs that did this? Nothing. They were... How, how, okay, how many cops were in on this? Six or so? And they were... How many were charged? They were... Two of them were found not guilty. And one... They, they just... They, they all... And then there was another one that they just didn't even... They just dismissed the charges? Exactly. Okay, so there were six total. Three were charged. Well, two were found not guilty. And then the third one, they dismissed the case. So, I'm sure there was no, uh, yeah, if you guys, if, I don't know if mods can, uh, Paulie Glocks is usually our best mod, but he's, he's MIA, I don't know what the fuck he is. Um, uh, he is, uh, yeah, he's no purpose. And, uh, I'm useless today. Um, I was useless yesterday, too. If mods can post a link, it, 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 it is, be warned, it'll ruin your 4th of July. Come on, Fosse, you can do it. You know. Or have but, the cat do it. Yeah, have uh, Floofkins, Jay Poofigans. Uh, it is... It is one of the most heartbreaking, heart-wrenching videos that you will ever witness. And this was actually the flashpoint for Denise Lynn to get involved. This was her moment. Mine was sort of Ferguson on, and uh, but th this this was the one that brought it from pencil to ink for Denise Lynn. Uh, Narnian Railway says Wiki has a death of T Kelly Thomas Page covering the murder and failure of justice system. Pollyanna, what's up? Okay, well, hello. <laughs> well, I hope you get that back. Oh, but you had to go and yeah. do that. Yeah. Maybe try to rent a car. You can't rent a car until no. 21. No. Right. I think it's a debit card. No, well, Hertz will rent it. But because he already backs down his credit card, which is going to be spend 500 a day. And of course, he wants a convertible. <laughs> so he has to get to He's like, I'm going to take the bus to the university. I'm not going to go to five hours. I'm going to go to just take 40 minutes of airfare. How far are you from here? Uh, 15 minutes. Okay. But I used to better live when this happened. I live about a mile up the road. 
So Denise is over there giving that woman some money or something. Um, if we do get a chance to talk to the dad, do you guys have any uh, questions? Manuel Ramos now? That's a good question. Polly, do you know the answer to that? Is he still employed? Is he... I think they said he got a job at the post office in Huntington Beach. Okay. Did he sue them civilly? Yeah. Did he win? Okay, thank you, Bill. What do you want us to know and remember about his son? County Sheriff? The dad? I think so. Boom. No, that's what I read on the Wikipedia page. I'm not speedy. Have you worked? Oh, it's a long time ago. It's before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't know that. You automatically assume that, you know, I've got way more insurance than a lot of Yeah. Yeah, I'll check that out when I get home. Yeah, no, I, I saw that. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's something about Orange County that doesn't strike me as being very uh, homeless friendly. Oh, yeah. You know? I had a before. Just for being out. Oh, nice. I heard Yeah. Yeah. They're giving. Same thing with your pipe. Yeah. Yeah. The ones that have the least are the ones that get the most. So many times. Yeah. And listen, it's like when I, you know, when I first got sober and I had a beater and the car would break down, the only people that stop and help you to break down are people that have ever broken down. Yeah. You know, the people in the brand new Mercedes are like, get fucking AAA, you fucking. Get out of the way. You know, like, you know. Well, that direct D where they called that, that one motorcycle cop that pulled that woman over at the gas station and then the 15 cops and the fucking airship showing up. I mean, you know, and you know the only reason that you come like that is uh, officer needs help. That's the call. And, you know, that's the call that when, when Pug and those guys from Oklahoma were out here, when those 40 cops went sprinting in that fucking apartment complex. It, officer needs help. Some of those, yeah, they did just... I was wondering what that was. I bought it from but my friend. A, is that a DC? She didn't want it. She's like, I'll give it to you for 200 bucks. Oh, the CBT. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a couple of those. Somebody else yeah. had one of those. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've had it for like a month. The video on there is very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. yeah. Is it, is that is, uh, yeah, I guess the first one? Yeah. Oh my god, that I'm surprised that was a Yeah. It's just weird. Uh, thank you, Gino, for the super chat. Appreciate you. <laughs> 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 their new MMA moves.
to do the back to the sun or doesn't matter to me I don't I don't want I don't want you uh, in the full sun here so uh, yeah that'll be that'll be good um, yeah we'll probably wait for the buses for for audio so here's Here's the channel. I've got the, the live channel too. I have two, two separate channels. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Last time. I just So we're gonna wait for the bus. She told to me leave. you gave her tacos. She offered them to me. What a sweet, sweet lady. Hey man, Johnny. We're waiting for the buses to leave, you guys. Uh, Press natural natural gas. They they just don't have that 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 choky diesel exhaust. If you look at the exhaust pipe. So um, we're, we're live and also static. So if you want to introduce yourself and just uh, tell us who you are. Well, I'm Ron Thomas. I'm the father of Kelly Thomas. Right out here at the Fullerton Transportation Center. 
about 20 feet away on that video. Uh, July 5th, 2011, 10 years ago tomorrow, so I was brutally beaten to death by primarily three Fullerton police officers, and then it was ended up being six of them. He literally bled to death in his gutter. Uh, unfortunately, the criminal trial will back up. Fortunately, first time in Orange County's history, under the officers in charge of murder. Unfortunately, the Orange County jury couldn't even find him guilty of excessive force. And that's a tragedy in all of this. And Ten years later, there's still no justice. Uh, the Department of Justice sent me a letter stating there's nothing that they could do. No violations, no surprise violations. I said, bullshit. And as far as accountability, we need to continue to hold what I call wayward officers accountable. line that they walk because they need the officers oh, and testimony in court to make their cases. I don't care. I don't care. They need to be prosecuted. They need to be charged and prosecuted. That's the problem. Oh, yeah. Well, all of a sudden we're like, well, Iraq did it. Really? Uh, how, how the hell did you know Iraq did it? Well, because you had beef with them. Yeah, this was, uh, so there was like, we, we said, 10 years later, this is still yeah. probably one of the most severe, which, which is saying something in the, in the, the amount of people that are beaten to death or yeah. killed by police. Um, it's the worst thing I've ever seen at all. I, I've never seen anything this bad. When I first released the pictures of what happened to my son, I actually took them in the hospital and I released them to uh, uh, different affiliates in Europe. Uh, the Associated Press, AP, they picked it up in Europe. That's, then it started coming back into the United States because the United States uh, affiliates would not show something so gruesome, so horrible on TV. And finally started getting the newspapers, different papers, and finally the news started showing it. Um, that's how bad, that's how horrible it was. Right. Well, and I'm sure they were <laughs> pissed off <laughs> that, you know, that, that that got released. Let's, was, did they have body cameras back in, in that day? or They didn't have it. Uh, the body behind you up here is a, a camera up, up on a big pole, and the dispatcher from the police department actually controls that camera with a joystick. Okay. So she was able to zoom in and, and film the whole thing from up there. The audio came from their audio recorders that they all wore. And so it was all put together, so they had film and audio they put together and synced it properly, and then you have the whole thing. Is there a, a, a website for people to go if they wanted to donate uh, money or any other resources or spread the word? Is, is there? Uh, well, I would. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I would like to see people donate to organizations like NAMI, the National Alliance for Mentally Ill. Okay. And uh, you can just Google that. Uh, probably no matter where they're at, there's an affiliate of it. Here in Orange County, there is the Orange County NAMI. Okay. Uh, that would be wonderful. Okay. What NAMI does, it helps families understand and work with and how to work with their loved one, their loved one with a mental illness. Um, Donating is tricky, you know, uh, like goodwill, you know, you can donate and give to goodwill all day long, but you have to understand that at the CEO, you know, it's like 500000 a year. Okay, where's the money going? Help your neighbors. You know, help your neighbors. What was, from your, was there any further training because of, from, to the Fullerton Police Department of use of force after this incident or... I mean, even though it, it was probably, they probably just said it and it might not have actually occurred. Did they even... They've done it again. Yeah. Change of policy. Oh. Uh, about, about five cops piled on top of a guy. They killed him on the sidewalk in front of his house. Okay. And then there was another one after that. And these have both been like in the last couple of years. Right. Okay. 
Yeah, they, they, I'll answer that, that question in a second. Okay. But on her point, which is an excellent point, training is only as good as the people that receive it when they choose to do it. That's all training is. It's only good if you choose to use it in the right way. Um, one thing that uh, I helped with, and Kelly's Army really pushed for and got it uh, done, is from San Diego to Bakersfield, probably eight years ago now, it started training for all law enforcement officers, no matter what they did, even higher patrol, every one of them had to go through specialized training on how to work with the homeless and the mentally ill. And so there, they were, it was all done. You know, and I've sat in on some of the seminars. They really didn't care to see me, but that's too bad. Right. Um, but everybody received it again and now. What do they do with the, the information? For some of them, it's just overtime pay, so what, I don't care. Yeah. Others, it's like, you know what? This has really helped me out. Now I understand that that person isn't just giving me you know, a smart ass to me. I'm really hearing other voices in it. It's been real. I get that now. Some have really come up to me and said that. I didn't realize it before. So it has helped some. There will always be sure. those groups, those cops, those whoever that don't give a damn. They don't continue to violate policy procedures and beat up on us, the uh, population. But it wasn't just the police, right? It was That's the sad thing. It was higher up as, as the whole thing was going on. People didn't want to see it. They didn't yeah, want the to, DA's office. I mean, they did not want to acknowledge it. They wanted to blame everything and everybody other than other than their own police force, which is just heartbreaking. What would you like people at home to rem to know about your son or to remember about your son? But Kelly was a real good kid. I mean, he was great. He wasn't diagnosed with schizophrenia until about 22. And um, it's something that happens. Nobody, nobody wants to wake up one day and say, oh, God, I think I'm mentally ill. This is great. Parents, no parents would want to say, gee, I hope when our kid grows up, he's mentally ill. She's mentally ill. You know, so it's something that happens. But he was a great kid. And even on the streets here in Fullerton, up to the time he died, so many people have approached me and said, you know what, he was just a real delight to talk to, very peaceful, easy going. Um, he didn't deserve any of this. And if you see the video, and you can see it online, you can Google it, um, the Kelly Thomas beating full video, just Google that, and it's going to break your heart, you're going to cry. Definitely going to do it. Um, you're going to see that he tried to de-escalate that. He even told uh, Ramos, here, just take me to jail, because he knew he was going to get hurt somehow, some way. He didn't want anything to do with it, and they weren't having it. They just, you know, easy prey. They've got a video now that's in the ads, and the words that everybody says are Well, they synced up the same. It's a, it's a, it's a horrible thing. Even the night it happened, uh, Manuel Ramos, who started the whole thing. Uh, who told my son with the gloves on, you see these fists, are getting ready to F you up. Um, you know, this guy should have been dealt with. He should have went into general population as far as I'm concerned. You know, he, he really deserves something bad to happen to him. Where, where is he now? Is he still working in law enforcement, do you know? Or you no, none of them are. Okay. None of them are. Uh, I, Ramos was doing construction, you know, with friends and family or whatever. I don't think he'll ever amount to anything. But um, they've tried to get their jobs back. That was shot down. I got to hand it to the city for never backing down on that. Decision. Yeah, that was pitiful that they actually did that. that they actually fought to get their jobs back. Right. Well, they did. And uh, well, you know, it was oh, we got not Contract. guilty. That means we did nothing wrong. Well, if we did nothing wrong, then you owe us our jobs back with all back pay. That's the angle that they I know took. How it works, yes. And the city stood fast. I got to hand. I'll compliment Bruce Laker for that. Bruce did not back down a bit. Even though he's only one council member, he would not back down from it. And uh, today he's mayor, and he still supports it completely. You know? He just wanted what was right. He always wanted to find out the truth. He never come out and, well, they all knew that that was excessive. It was horrible, of course. But he wanted the truth, and he always fought for the truth. I'll hand him that. So did you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what you've done is amazing. It's well, absolutely I appreciate amazing. That. You know, I'm just doing what a dad should do. Yeah. All dads should do, really. Everybody should do. Well, we should all be here for, for our neighbors, for our people that are around here. This is, this is what we're supposed to do.
should take care of each other as human beings. You know, I, I agree. You know, uh, one of the things that I really got mad at the, the county for and city of Fullerton, I called them on, I called the city manager and really bitched at him about it because it's probably been four years now, give or take, that the county, with the collection from different cities, came up with $32 million for an animal shelter. For an animal shelter. $32 million for an animal shelter. And people were lying in the streets, dying in the streets. Kids, children, no fault of theirs. Living on the streets. Can't eat dinner tonight. $32 million going to an animal shelter. Now, I love my dogs. I love my pets. Boy, don't I. I sure do. Human beings are lying in the gutters. They need help. Whatever kind of help it is, they need help. These are people, human beings. $32 million went to an animal shelter not to help them. Well, that just goes to show you, right? Just but, exactly. Yeah, but as far as police accountability, we the people, and I like that phrase a lot, we the people can never give up on it. We have to hold them accountable. And, you know, the... the Camera capabilities, video capabilities on cell phones have made such a huge difference. You know, uh, it, it started off quite honestly with Rodney King. Sure. There it was, right there. It started off with Rodney King. Now, was he a career criminal? Yeah. Was he this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he get beat down unnecessarily? You better believe it. Assault with deadly weapons. I call a baton in a club. That's a deadly weapon. And they beat him, beat him, beat him because they were tired of chasing him when he ran off. So, arrest him. You know, whatever, arresting. But that's where it started with, with Rodney King and then the accountability. Well, and what I think it is to, to most people is most people don't see that side of law enforcement. And that was the Achilles, that was the, the, the dirty little secret that, law, you know, oh, well, we're, no one's seeing this. Let's knock the hell out of this guy. You right. Know? So right. now we're getting to see from yeah. a different perspective. And it even happens. their own body cameras, which, which are making them... How long Guilty were you a sheriff? Uh, about six years, and then I resigned. I know it's long. Yeah. Did you resign before or after this incident? Oh, uh, good deal before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good deal before. Yeah, it wasn't what I thought. Uh, I loved it. It was a childhood kind of dream and everything else. My dad was in the sheriff's department 23 years, same department. And it was like, man, this is it. And then I found out the reality. Yeah. The reality of going down to downtown Santa Ana. I uh, don't remember the name of the bar, you know, they'd all have their tailgate parties. So you got a bunch of drunk cops driving home now, you know, and, and uh, all the... With the blue privilege power. of not being able to yeah. do anything. Well, that's right. The boat uh, yeah. It was the boathouse. It was the boathouse. And, um, you know, it was like... I'm actually, I'm actually and then, uh, like all deputies, I started out by working in the main jail in Santa Ana. And the abuse that happened in there. There are some real bad people in there, okay? There is absolutely some real bad people in this world. And there was some in there. But there were people in there that didn't deserve the treatment that they got. There's bad people in there that with, with, with uniforms on all that's right. Well, and if that's your baptism by fire, because they do it, because I'm from Los Angeles, and they do that same, same thing with the sheriff's department. Yep. They're all in Twin Towers, Men's yep. Central Jail, Wayside. Yep. That's their Here you go. welcome, you know, mm -hmm. just right cross to the jaw of like reality of throw you in the what deep the end. world is just yeah. throw you in the deep end yeah yeah but you know i got to see what was going on and it just uh, it, it wasn't the best because when you're the lower man on the pool you get blamed if you're not part of the click group or who you work with part of the team if you're just out a little bit you're out yeah you're out people won't come to your response uh, to back you up when needed and this type of thing that's one of the biggest problems of law enforcement is you ran out of money, who's going to come save you in the bank room for shooting at you? Yeah. Nobody. You're on your own. Yeah. Yeah. You're on your own, Tim. Well, that's why there's not there, That's why there's not so many people that are out there that are willing to put not only their job, but their life, their family's life, their security on the line. I understand, you know? Yeah. The eye-opening you got, I, you know, I discussed with you my eye-opening to your son. Your son opened my eyes to the other side of law enforcement. And I was, yeah. you know... It breaks my heart to think that every day, right now, every day, there's somebody right now who's being harassed, who's being, who's being mistreated just because of how they look, whether it's because they're homeless or their money or, or one reason or another. Right. And we have to be there for each other. Yeah. 
every day. And it's going to continue. It will. It's, not it's going, going to continue. Because even like in Fullerton, who finally, it was Captain Hamilton that took over the G spot to begin with. And then uh, <laughs> Captain Dan Hughes, who became the intern. Well, Hughes started out out of the academy at Fullerton. He was the rookie first day officer in Fullerton. So he made his way all the way up to Captain. And this happened to my son. He was a captain over the control division. But he's the one, it was his men that, that did this. And what did you they got to be held accountable for this. You know, that really been for your guys, your followers, and so wait, you let them do it. More so than the average person, because they're the ones that are supposed to be upholding the laws. They're supposed to be keeping us safe. Supposedly, yeah. it's what we've been food fed again since young. Yeah. We have to stop Health that. Higher expectations, uh, much higher standards. So they got to be held to, and that's what we, the people, need to do. All the time, hold them to higher standards. So, do you think that this is going, this is getting any better with some of the older cops that are actually leaving and the younger ones coming in, or do you think it's getting worse? No, I don't. You don't no. think it's getting better or worse? I think it's back down to uh, uh, ground zero. Because the officers that went through all the training are retiring. Right. Even though there's mandatory classes for the new, they're all excited. They got a gun and a badge, let's go get the bad guys. They don't have that empathy. Sure. Unless they have a relative or, or a brother or sister, perhaps, that's almost a little bit of They don't have that concern. Well, and also in Los Angeles, I noticed that a lot of the younger guys, are, they're all yoked up and like they're all MMA, they're all doing, like, they're oh, yeah. just they are just waiting to try out the new shit. They, they, you know, they, they wanna, Ex-military they a lot of them fight. also. They want to get in the fight. Yeah. Military points. My niece and her husband are having She's mean, she's a nasty person. You know, I, I don't even talk to her anymore. Yeah, yeah, and uh, one of the favorite ones, I mean, it just takes nothing. All of a sudden, you're in contempt of cop. Oh, absolutely. You know, what'd yeah. you say to me? We know that. Yeah. You know, it's like, what'd you say to me? It's like, yeah. so who the hell are you? I don't care, you know? And um, I had a cop talk to me just a couple days ago, and it was this woman cop. And she didn't know me from anybody, and it's, it's like, I told her that. I said, so what am I, in contempt of cop now? Because now you got a bad attitude. She knew the way I said it and the way I looked at her without any fear. There was something about my background. And well, you still got the cop mustache, so. I, I said, well, you know, that, that's, it, that's it, too. And she looked at me like, uh, no, 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 no. There's no contempt of cop. You know, it's like, yeah, sure. I was in it immediately with you. You wanted to impress upon me that you're a cop. And you have I no know. power over me, right? Yeah, right. Well, no power over the people that don't care. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Thank you for caring. Right. Thank thanks, you for fighting. Thanks for coming. Always. Thanks, sir. I, I'm and I'll never sorry. stop fighting. On behalf fighting. of everybody that's, I mean, there's people from all over the world that, yeah, we're, we're live on YouTube as well, so. Um, I can't. You can use profanity. Yeah, yeah, you can use what I said about my You're not on camera. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you're out of frame. Mm -hmm. Your voice? <laughs> no, you uh, So can I ask you a question though? Yeah. What is your what is your thoughts on law enforcement right now? You know what? Law enforcement is, is great. We need them. We need have them. to have them. We have to have law enforcement. What we really really need in that also is good professional women in law enforcement who you know what it's you know what it's like to be I, listen I saw I it too what what those women were treated like I saw they're not treated well they got to do their best to be as professional as possible they're human beings so they're going to make mistakes they're going to make mistakes own up to it don't try and cover it up own up to it and get it settled whatever it is you know you think the elimination of qualified immunity would change everything it's going to change it's going to change some of it in a very good way. Because the more barriers we can take down that they can't hide behind, right. they need to be on a better behavior. And so now with California finally knocking down most of POBAR, the Peace Officer Bill of Rights, and now we can actually look into the personnel files, know that they were fired, why were they why? fired, all this, right. now it can be admitted in court, and during my son's case, none of that can be brought forward. Right. So. Well, it shows the strength of the police unions. And right. Well, we won't they even pay go for there. the governor's election. Yep. You know, and so, but now that that's those doors been knocked out, and you get rid of the immunity. 
uh, okay, that's another thing they can't hide behind. So it's all better. Well, I never realized that qualified immunity was just made out of thin air by the Supreme Court. There was yeah. no vote. There was no... They just pulled it out of a hat. You know, like, the, this is going to be something that happens from now on. You right. Know? I mean... Right. I mean, it was... In, in theory, it was to pr reduce frivolous lawsuits, though, I mean, uh, but it, it, it has failed miserably, as we've all witnessed. So. I still believe in self-insurance. I believe that, like, off, like, like doctors, like uh, police officers, should carry their own insurance. And I believe that it would be a difference if they had to actually worry about this coming out of their own pocket or their own yeah. job. We, we all live with, and so should they, right. recourse. Absolutely. Recourse. Mm -hmm. Because if you and I just go out and screw something up really bad, well, it's going to happen. Recourse for our actions. They need recourse for their actions. Record the police all, all the time. People. I've had incidents with CHP where they were, uh, she and I were out over by USC and we were not engaging them. And we were just talking amongst ourselves as if they were invisible, which goes, they don't goes, like. goes over really well. And the one, the one male cop is a male and female cop. He backed into my camera intentionally to try to get a rise out of me, uh -huh. and then and 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 touched me. And I remember I was on the phone with um, their internal investigator, and I said, if I touch a cop, I've got a felony. He's like, that's not true. And I'm like, I, it, every case is like it's assault no, on a peace officer. Yeah, Absolutely, it's a felony. Like, so. The recourse is yeah, like what Brad was not, talking there's, about. There's no reciprocal reciprocation right, right, and, right. you know, yeah. disproportionate. And, but accountability yeah. means for everyone. It, is, it, it should be even more so for somebody who has is supposed to be upholding that, sure. the peace. Uh, I'm sorry, that's just my yeah. belief. All right. You know, Indeed. too Good long. To thank you. you for coming out. I appreciate it. And uh, well, Thank you for coming out. Yeah. Yeah, we came all the way down from L.A. and so yeah. wouldn't miss I came from so Chicago, much. right? Hey, Denise, I mean, Denise, Denise did, Sadly, your son's incident was her whole rise to activism. So, knows. yeah, it's uh, amazing. Well, well, you know, he didn't die totally in vain. No. Yeah, a think of how many people happened. he saved, also. Oh, so many, so many things. A lot of things have been lost, you know, and, and the activism. Yes, I think everyone for coming out here. Yeah. All of us, things have changed. Yeah. As I like to say, police, you you have your circle where you have, you can do your job. But stay within that circle. Right. It's, it's when you exceed your mandate, it gets... It so, All right. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Everybody in the uh, the chat is saying thank you as well. And I need to I get know, another so. hug from Ron. Uh, like I said, and, and, and sadly, there's a lot of people that, that didn't know who Kelly Thomas was yeah, look, an look, hour ago. You know, so. look, look up, you can Google Kelly Thomas Fullerton. Uh, there's a lot of Kelly Thomases out there. Just Kelly Thomas Fullerton and you'll get it. When we, when we be over at Starbucks having a cup of coffee, we see Kelly. We knew he was a nice guy. Oh, yeah. you can tell just, you can just tell by his he, pictures, he the, the, the twinkle sweet. in his eye. Yeah. 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 And everything that I read about him, everything I heard, everybody said, nobody said bad things about him. He was a sweet guy. He helped people in the area. He helped yeah. people. Yeah. All right, folks. There you go. That's my channel. Thank you very much. Slipping out soon. <laughs> I think we're going to head back to Arizona. Safe trip. Right there. Thank you so much. We will always be here, son. Well, I appreciate that very much. Thank you for others. Of you know, course. For everybody that's around here. Hey, Ellie. Take care. Denise, you have his contact yeah, info? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye to my new friend. I was talking to my cousin. Take care, all right? Thanks for coming out. Do you have the business card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're live. Thank this you. This is my main channel. Yeah. 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 What brought you uh, here? Yeah, okay. Okay, good. So, I mean, you 
just came when like everything works out for me yeah. 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 yesterday or? yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. yes the, there's an email yeah. address it's, uh, on the um what seven eight hours i've always uh, on the, dis yeah. any, the description yeah. of my videos the feeling and, uh, and determination yeah. uh -huh. that if somebody is going to come out to pay tribute to my son yeah then i i absolutely Okay. You know, because without everybody, without without Kelly's army, yeah, I would have been just one person demanding justice and gotten over it. So I'm extremely grateful, I'm very thankful, and I'm very humble for everything yeah. that's happened. I'm very humble. You know, I think if the trial were to happen today, it'd be a different outcome. Like Society. Well, it would because the evidence would be brought out. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. the biggest yeah. deal right there. Yeah, that's the biggest part of it right there. So, and you know, things would be different for sure because we use all kinds of things that weren't used. Before. Can you pursue like a civil? Oh, well, it was pursued. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, but you know, civils never. I didn't really give a shit about the civil. It didn't really care. And it's, it's, it's a criminal trial. That's what I want. I want to be in prison. Yeah. That's the only thing I cared about, is yeah. some kind of justice. Um, so the only justice now is if they walk out in front of a speeding bus. You know, and that's not really justice unless I was driving. <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 I'm real. Yeah. I'm absolutely real when I speak. It would be karma, absolutely karma, if they walked out in front of a speeding bus. It would be justice if I was driving. <laughs> yeah. So. It seems like they don't have any remorse. They have no remorse. They, not one of them has ever said to anybody at any time, I wish that didn't happen. I'm sorry that happened. They certainly haven't tried to say anything to me about it, even to their attorneys. They don't give a shit other than they got to go home and live their lives. So you know what they're doing today? They're having fireworks with their family. They're having barbecues. They're doing whatever people do. That's what they're doing. My son, I can't be with him. They took that away. And I'll never forget that. Orange County Register was here, yeah. and she asked me, would you ever forget? It's fresh reporters need to pass. Yeah. I get that. I don't forget. No, I wouldn't forget. Yeah. She walked out in front of a, a police car going code three, and it, it was accidental. I understand that. I don't understand really beating him to death when he's begging. Sir, please, I'm sorry. All this stuff. Yeah. And they kept going until he was dead. I don't understand that. I can't forgive that. I never will. You know, some people are like, well, you need to let go. No, I don't. Yeah. Why do you, who are you to tell me I need to let go? Why? Right. You're and not, not going to forget. So you're not going to forget. And I'm not going to let go. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You know, and I'm the one that hears every day and night, I hear dad 32 times. And the very last words that he was able to, to just murmur out, daddy, they're killing me. Give and forget, not this dad. Yeah. Not happening. Not happening. I was asked, well, what, why'd you leave Orange County? Because I might just walk right into him one day, and that's not going to be pretty. Yeah. I would not be able to keep my mouth shut. Where's it going to escalate to? Well, I probably not. Yeah. So, I don't forgive and forget. Nothing like that. Accidents are accidents. I get it. I understand it. We yeah. all do them. Not that. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for coming out, okay? Thank you so much. Indeed. All right. Thank we're, you, man. We're going to get on the road. I appreciate you very All right. much. Yeah. We're going to get on the road. was pulled up, but that was, uh, I think that was probably one of the most human moments I've ever had on my channel in four years. You don't really always get, you don't get the luxury of, 
talking directly to the family survivors of, of police brutality. No, I really enjoy that. No, the case got thrown out. We got, there were six cops totals, but there were three that got charged. Two were uh, oh, not guilty. All right. And the third, thank you. How you doing? Thank you. Two were found not guilty, and then they dropped the charges on the third guy. And uh, about the civil suit, he said he didn't care about a civil suit. That's not justice. Criminal was all he cared about. I'll probably cut this on a high def and put it up on my main channel for tomorrow and for I was this is my channel, I live in Los Angeles. So we're live right now on YouTube and we have people from all over the world, and a lot of, like I said, a lot of people didn't know who Kelly was an hour ago. So. Put some good music on, right? That's right. Yeah, that's cool. Right now, the ladder is second. Uh, I didn't ask. Uh, Renee. Bye, guys. Thanks so much. All right, man. See you, Renee. So, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got about 300 people watching from all over the world that didn't know, many of them didn't know who Kelly was an hour ago. Because sadly, it, it was a decade ago. Oh, we got oh, you know, And, yeah. and, and uh, you know, I'm, how, the, the staggering volume of people that have been brutalized by police in the last 10, 20 years. I mean, the, the amount of names, the amount of names of people that, that are killed. Yeah, that's true. You know, so it's... Yeah. So this is... You're streaming live with your yeah, cell phone. Yeah, cell phone. You have a GoPro here. GoPro here, there, GoPro here, here. and then another yeah. static with a boom mic for better audio. Okay. So... Yeah, well, I, we go out and film the police Is this all lot. 4K then? Or? Uh, no, I don't use 4K because of the uh, the battery one time. Okay. There's only about 20 minutes on a GoPro. Yeah. So I would have been... I would have had to change it twice okay. here sure. being here so we're at uh an hour 40 minutes uh, hour and 50 minutes of our being here okay. and the batteries are still going to 1080 so uh yeah i mean 4k would look nicer but it's sure uh, technically it's a little more of a feat on the you know right and so it'll go 90 minutes at 1080 uh, 1080 24. and then uh, the canon the is? canon's uh uh that's also uh 1080 it's just a like a $200 camera because what happens is uh, I've been arrested a bunch of times and when you get body slammed by the police and then they put your camera in evidence you want to be able to go buy another $200 camera you, you know you don't want to have a I'm a professional photographer I've got a $3,500 camera body at home that doesn't yeah. go out cop watching for right. obvious reasons for damage and also the fact that, of it being in held in evidence for six months to a year or, yeah. or longer so uh, yeah you don't really want to bring a lot of really good Okay. gear out <laughs> you know so were you out at that we spa yesterday uh no i heard i heard about it but uh yeah we weren't out of that so we're out doing a, a couple of what do watching a dy checkpoint in the san fernando valley oh, okay. in the late afternoon so well, i'll check out your channel yeah then. awesome yeah we just yeah same channel okay she's got her own channel too yeah, though, so. right. yeah i do denise uh -huh. lynn Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, they're so, going to. They're going to come with us to Fullerton Police Station. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go over to Fullerton Police Station. So there it is. There it is. The slide bar. That is where the uh, in, this incident started. Um, one of the waitresses called and said there was a guy. Uh, it looked like he was breaking into cars. And they're right there, Johnny. See the camera? Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. So here's the camera. Right there. Uh, and I thought that was really interesting. I thought that that was really interesting that he said that the dispatch that it had tilt, zoom, and pan. Yeah. 
you know, that she had a, a, a joystick and that was able to zoom in and on, on the incident. Yeah. And so uh, the actual uh, spot was right over here. And they were pools of blood. 37 years old. Rest in peace, Kelly Thomas, gone but never forgotten. Kelly Thomas, justice for all. So, uh, I want to go out and um, just go sit in front of the uh, Fullerton Police Department and see if film some cars coming in and out or whatever. So, God bless you. Yeah, so we don't, I mean, I think you could do a really powerful channel talking to just the victims of crimes. And sadly, you could do a channel just on the victims of crimes of police. So, I'll go out on a limb to say that that was probably, like I said, the most human, heartfelt moment. This channel in six weeks will be celebrating a four year anniversary. And I would uh, easily say that that was some of the most powerful 20 minutes on my channel. Denise is switching shirts, what? Well, yeah, are you kidding? I gotta, I gotta you gonna do a live? I gotta do a, the Kelly's Army. Get out of here, go over there. I'm going. All right, so. bells outside.
Uh, that's why I drank the rest of mine. Mm -hmm. We'll be drinking piss warm, Dr. Pepper. 0.3 miles away. Mm -hmm. It's behind us. And Polyglox is here, and another one of your subs is here. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. With the guy on the bike? Yes. Oh, so now I feel bad. No, no, he's going he's to talk to you. Oh, okay. I talked to him. You know me, I talked to everybody. I like people, just Most not that much. I know. <laughs> I know. That's why you have me around. I know. There's got to be a reason. Somebody's got to keep me around for a reason. Right? It's a cute little town. There are cold drinks in the snack box packed oh. for you. I absolutely fucking love Delta Freedom. Except for they're in the back, so I'll just have to wait until Delta Freedom is like the mommy never had. Actually, my mom did that shit, so yeah. I... Well, see, that's the whole thing when you have a chosen family. You choose to do things for yeah. people that you love. I wasn't able to record over there, and I had, not only was my phone hot, but I was just, well, this has been a pretty emotional fucking weekend. She is the best, Johnny. Johnny F.A. said the Bell's the best. Well, he's just saying that because Bell's in the chat. Well, and he's also saying it because... He's a, he's a kiss ass. That's right. I mean, that's... We gotta do what we gotta do. She's a good mom to two grown adults. Haha, <laughs> she's young enough to be her daughter. Oh, no, no, I don't mean like ours. I mean like young wow. enough to be Johnny's and or, then young enough to yours. be me or mine. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, don't be laughing at me. Denise and I do have a love child, though. Yeah, we do. Can you imagine what that child looks like? <laughs> yeah, he's a bald redhead. <laughs> Sally from the Valley, I love that name. I love that name. Every time I see it, it makes me smile. Oh, boys and girls, boys and girls. So what'd you guys think of that? I'm heartbroken that people just, and I know it's attrition. But yeah. And we came later. There were more people there earlier, which I was glad to know. Help packs, the juice boxes, and snacks, plus no. Are you looking in this? Bell's, this, Bell's, this bag yourself, Bell, you? are you Bell? Are you packing? What does <laughs> that What does that mean? <laughs> he said that our child is Axel Rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Is that it's a current day Axel yeah, Rose too, not you know, the 1990 version. And the funny thing is, a lot of these people in this chat are even gonna know what Axel Rose looks like. Right. No, we got a bunch of old fucks like. I know like we, we do. are. He's a tremendous man. He's a tremendous man. I, I, well, and, I've and, talked to him for hours. And he's sadly, been he's been, he has been thrust into the role of activist. And, uh... Yeah, this is where they, this is where they stalked me and Furry when we were here. Let's see. I'm not that old. I just love music. That's <laughs> rich. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Business yeah, how old are you? Is when 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 Guns N' Roses is considered classic rock. You know your fucking your life is almost over when. <laughs> right, I'm going to. I'm going to actually go live here. So I'm going to. I mean, I'm going to give me a second here. Uh, how does the stream look, you guys? Also, I'm going to cool the phone off for a second, so there's going to be a lot of wind noise. I'm actually going to mute it. All right. Yeah, I just muted it because you guys didn't need to hear a wind tunnel. So I'm not going to bring out the beginner sticks no, since the stream is as good as it is. 
It's really no need. Besides, you might have to run. Yeah. Especially with Denise in tow. You never know. Denise's mouth? Fuck out of here. Uh, this is quite a Get up. It's quite a large Facility they expanded it. Of course they did Okay, I got a video of this Yeah, right? Got a nug. Nuggy nug. Dude, I gotta get in touch with my friend who coined that. I'm still I'm still friends with him on Facebook and Instagram. You gotta give him it for your for our other those two. Well it's short for nugget, and I'm not sure if that had to do with the oh. the porn mag the called porn nugget. Still here on the trailer. Wow, that was See, but when I was here when I was here, they did not have this mesh no. up. Nope. They had these up, but not yeah. the mesh, because we were looking through, that's and that's when they were, yeah, that's when they were stalking. Denise Lynn in the, in the wife beater. Kelly's army, boys and girls. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> So yeah. a couple of creepers just made that their fucking screensaver. Thank you for that, Johnny. And uh, wallpaper. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. But yeah, they did this. this. This has been within the past year, this grading, because I was here last year, and this was not here. It was just the fences. I got pictures. I'll show you. Let me go live. I hope we see a cop. What's that, babe? I hope we see a cop. Damn, that is running. some. Oh, here they go. Joinfullertonpd.com is plastered in the back window. Yeah, I, know. I didn't even have my phone on yet, but I was just being decoyed. Yeah, they put it. This is all. Yeah, this is all new. Is it all the way around? It must be. Actually, Can you hold this for a second? I need. I got fucking something in my pocket. Right, oh, that burns. See, I'm useful for something. You're useful for lots of things. There you go. Get out here, boys and girls. See these cameras? They're gonna fuck you up. Fucking stain. Yep. Absolute disdain for the general public. Nothing's changed with them. No, no. No, except for they protected themselves more in the country so that you can't get it. Country hot nugs comes from Polly Shore. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe it did. Thank you. It's fucking. Look at all these cameras that are watching us now. Look up there. It's fucking. Go Google the Fullerton Police Department right now and go look at a Google uh, fucking space view and see the vastness. I'm telling you, this is all new. Right, Polly? Yeah. All they had uh, 15 years ago, this, all these buildings, they weren't there. Well, last year when I was here. This was all here, but the fence was here, but there was no mesh. No. Last year, two years ago. Whatever. You look close and see it now. Behind Johnny. Beach Patrol. 
That's probably when they want to beat people on the golf course. Yeah. Do they still have psychopaths working in here, do you know? Do they still have psychopaths working inside here? You came from inside the building. I just figured you'd know. And that's how you handle a camera. Actually, can you hold this again? Sure. Oh. There is a nug right there. Nug alert. All the screen savers. There's a cop car right there that Ford Explorer all blacked out with the blacked out yep. license plates. <sighs> yep. Not too obvious though. I love the cop. I don't know. I, I don't know if the chat could hear last night. There was that older cop in the trailer talking to uh, Lemonade Audits and he was saying, yeah, you should see the stuff that comes through here. We see people with their windshields tilted, tinted, <laughs> which I'm like, cops are, I mean, Listen, I've seen, when I got the windows tinted in the Prius back in 2015 when I bought that car, there was a guy at the window tint place having his windshield tint removed because he had gotten caught by the police. Um, so people do tint their windshield, but nobody loves to do that more than the police for full anonymity when you want to park in a neighborhood and not be seen on the inside. It's 200 bucks each, easily. Yeah. See, when I was a kid, this was it. This was it. Yeah. None of that shit in the back. Yeah. Was it ever? <laughs> Look, there used to be glass windows here, behind the iron fence. Got a drought resistant garden, give them that with all the cacti and succulents. It's a pretty building. They're very friendly, aren't they? Yeah, they are people. The people they are people here. Yes, they are people. Looks like a this looks like a mission. This was locked when I was here last time. I wouldn't open the doors. Yeah, no, I just wanna poke around. Uh, record storage. Do you have the Beatles White Album? Oh my gosh, you know what this, you know what this reminds me of? No, 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 this reminds me of ancient Rome, like where you, they would have like, oh, the yeah, the gladiators down there and then we could just like... See, there's the doors where the, the cops come out. You're right, the lion. Yeah. The damage down there is dead, probably. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, no backpacks. What's the irony? Right. Kelly. Oh, yeah, right. Exactly. He was killed because of the bad. Well, no, he wasn't killed because of the bad. He was killed because this man was attacked him. Yeah. Closed New Year's Day, July 4th, Thanksgiving, Christmas Day. How about that? I'm just curious, right? What's going to happen? Alright, let's go back towards the gate. 
Yeah, so there's an American flag, a California Republic, and the uh, POW MIA flag. Of course you are. Denise Lynn's going rogue. You know, it's hard to believe. See, I don't think you can use the pickup truck analogy down here because a lot of people do drive pickup trucks down here because there's just more, a little more room to park. Yep. Every corner. Cameras all over the building. Yep, they're afraid of cameras. Right. But I reckon. TZP, tilt, zoom, pan. They are not static cameras. Now imagine what those, that dispatcher was looking at, and that camera watching Kelly get beat. Well, and I wonder if she was rooting for the fucking police. Yeah. We're saying, hey, I think I, I think they went too far. I'm sure that testimony. And I should probably. Well, it probably ran through her mind of, um, am I getting our beloved officers in a light. fuckload of trouble <laughs> right now? So this is all Spanish architecture with the white Spanish uh, stucco exterior with the uh, red shingle roofs. Um, I would venture to guess that that's, if this wasn't a mission, uh, why would you style a police department to resemble a mission? That's yeah, why I think... To, uh, welcome people, right? Right. That's another one. Yeah, I think they're all parked behind the gate, though. I mean, maybe like Volunteer patrol. Yeah, this whole compound is pretty much. How big is Fullerton as a city? Is it? It's not that big. They do have some pretty wealthy areas as well. Like the Sunny Hills area. People have horses. Okay. Stuff like that. It's a little bit north of here. It's not that big. Pretty sleepy little city. Yeah, weekends it's a little, they got, you know, downtown over here, they got the bars and all that stuff, the little restaurants. But otherwise it's pretty quiet unless they beat the shit out of somebody. Yeah, but no plate readers in the trees, any weirdos? Yeah, you can shout out a new channel all you want, man. It's 
hard to read the chat. Huh? Yeah, no, well, you get out in the sun, dude, and it's... I know, when you were out there, I was like, yeah, no, nah, I... wait, can I read that? Fullerton is 139,000 people. Yep. Thank you, Lee. And Denise did the fucking, she did the block. All right, we're coming up on uh, two and a half hours of being live. I'm glad that I fixed my phone so that it runs because the pixel would have died in the heat, even though it's not really that hot. Two hour parking in the front, public parking. <laughs> so I decided that I could walk. If they could park, I could film, right? There's a parking lot in the front. To help the yeah. Yeah. Help. Um, where's the guy on the bike? I didn't get a chance to say I don't. Do we... He's on the bike. I, I know. We went 0.3 miles. Well, it still will take a minute, don't you think? As in, no, as in, as in, as in 0.3 miles, not to be confused with 0.3 miles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the other 0.3 miles. Is that that? What is that like? It, like, what is 0.3 uh, 0.3 miles in feet or kilometers? <laughs> Or, me, or meters? I, I, I don't do that whole kilometer thing. You drive me crazy with Celsius and, uh, and Fahrenheit and all this. We're the only country that uses meters. I know. He's big on meters. Or kill, what do you, I'm driving. What is it that you like instead of miles? Uh, clicks. I, have faith. I told you. I have faith. I have faith. 1,584 feet. Fight me, boys and girls. I have girls. family in, in Argentina and they have land. They go by hectares. That's how big how many I know a guy named Hector. Yeah. <laughs> is he he's from not from Argentina, no, he's <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh there I he is. Told him you were coming. I was like, dude, where's the guy on the bike? I said he's on a bike. I'm like, yeah, it was point three miles. What's up, man? Get a burrito. What's up? What's up? Who are you? I'm Dominic. Dominic. He's Dominic. Dominic. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome man. We got one right leaving now. the station or er, leaving over there. We'll pull around this way, I'm sure. No, no, no. Once they they know you're on. Oh. Come back on Saturday. In downtown. No, no. They're going to avoid us at all costs. Trust me. Oh, another one. Oh. Whoop. Was this a mission? Can somebody Google whether or not this was a mission or not? Uh, I got 50 bucks. It says it was. I just don't see why you would create a. It's Adobe? it's not like we're in fucking Taos, you know what I mean? Where even the McDonald's are fucking Adobe, you know. Right here in my lap. <laughs> That's what she said. Change glasses and hold, remember? Here's my new glasses. I I had yeah I had I I do I've got those I had them. Okay. No, we went, uh, we had to go out of our way for Denise. Yeah, what but want? she needed, Denise needed to be able to read. It's up in here. It was up crazy. Oh, it's almost for those. Yeah, right? It's called the Police Narcotics Building. It used to be City Hall, okay. City Hall? There goes another. Uh, but still. Hi, Maskilla. Hey, Maskilla. Hi, Bobby. And Dominic. I say hi, Dominic. Where are you? There you are, Dominic. Didn't you do yeah, she put cones and shit out there, so. Oh, uh, it's probably saving parking. Because they're going to close most of this oh. downtown area. Shiny wave high, they said. Here you go. He's touching his head. That's as much of a wave as you're going to get. No cap? Pretty much. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'll get the calves. Oh, got some big ass calves. Yeah, but I'll tell you, the bottom is no right there. They look a little what? A little runt. <laughs> runt? Here, hold still. Is that English? Red, I think. Oh. Just for the record, the calves are <laughs> bigger in person. Yes, they are. Seattle Judy thinks you're just the best thing in the world there, polyglots. Huh? Do you know Seattle Judy thinks you're the best thing in the world here? Really? Who doesn't? I, I, that's what I told her. We I'm okay. Oh, hi, Kevin. How are you? We're, we're in Pelican over here. We're just look at these cans. Pelican so majestic. Oh, yeah. My uh, ex wife went to Sonora. Okay. Yeah. You can tell that you're right, though. You can tell that this was a different building. Yeah, that's. I've never seen a police station that looks this nice. Oh, it's very nice. And I, I, I know the. Uh, on the other side, too, they have another little thing, too. Up near on the border, near where you have the best right before there. Oh, who's two of my work? No, I grew up in Orange County, Homestead. I'm from Chicago. Lucky. All right. I think our work is done here. Um, those that are just getting here, we did an interview with uh, Ron Thomas, Kelly Thomas's father. This is tomorrow marks the 10 year anniversary of his execution. Uh, Kelly Thomas, who was a, uh, at the time, he was a homeless man with schizophrenia and they beat him to death and he was just saying i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i want my daddy uh you know um just horrible horrible let's see your caps i'm reading the I'm re i got no caps i'm reading the chat we got somebody <laughs> we got somebody else that said wait 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 wait, wait. Cool. who was it that said it oh flip flap sorry <laughs> flip flops and caps those calves they're talking about. Cleave, calves, almost the same word. Oh. Kim Sims, all right, Kim Sims is in the chat. I don't know if Kim Sims was in here earlier. Uh, Kim Sims is an absolute superhero. And um, she threw me over the edge multiple times, uh, not in a bad way. Um, Money-wise, to uh, be able to buy like buy a drone. That's a little. That's so, kind of um, she donated the final push for the J five O drone. So, thank you, Kim Sims. Everybody say thank you to Kim That's Sims. Wow, they want me to rub your calves. No. For a hundred dollar PayPal. We're, oh. I'll do it. I'll fucking. Do All right. It. Well, here you. Who's do? Who's you? Somebody's gonna doing drop a hundred dollar PayPal. Polly Glocks is asking if it, who anybody will do a hundred dollar PayPal. PayPal. To, to who? Calf. To Polly? You have PayPal? Johnny's cam. No, to your PayPal. PayPal. For the, the for the drone. All yeah. right. Am I filming something here too? Okay. Uh, well, we got to see if somebody. We we'll see if somebody yeah. will take it. I ain't dropping a hundred bucks for that. I can <laughs> do it for free. Or I could have somebody else do it for free. Yeah, but who's who's the one that asked? That's true. I don't who's know. The one that asked Probably a troll. Oh, a troll. I don't. Blinded by the light. Uh, Hotel Delta Tango said a uh, hundred dollars not to. Okay, pay up, <laughs> pay up. That the, here's Polly not yeah. touching my calves. No Matoka. We'll do it in Spanish too. <laughs> I'm really surprised that there's anybody out here. Honestly. No, I just wanted to come down here on principle. No, I understand that. And I wanted to say the line that I said to that cop. Did you? Uh, $100 PayPal is coming in. Did you, uh, uh nope. did you hear what I said? To the yes, call? I did. I wasn't sure if you were, if you were around. No, I haven't seen any folks in the police cars that are kind of like taxes. No, I don't do that. Never seen. I'm reading the check. I'm reading the check. I want to know if you can help. 
Hawk fan said Polyglox is a goat. Nah. Is a goat or the? Wouldn't it be the goat? Or do you mean actual? Because he used a goat emoji, like actual goat with horns. Uh, but I, so a a goat would lead me to believe that he's actually talking about the barn animal. Am I Italian and not goat the, or and not, Mexican goat? And not the greatest of all time, goat. Uh, no, I did. That was I said that to the one woman. Do psychos still live here? But uh, so one of the one of the lines that Ramos used, who was one of the executioners uh, for the Fullerton Police Department, he was putting on his fighting gloves, and um, he said, "You see these fists? What is it? They're they're gonna they're said, they're about to fuck you up." Well, Kelly said, "Yeah, what about them?" And he said, "You see these fists? They're about to fuck you up." Okay. So the cop came in and I asked him, I said, you said, you see these cameras are about to fuck you up. I like when you ask if any uh, maniacs or which Psycho, I said, do any of the psychopaths still work here? Psychopaths still work here, yeah. No, there is no human empathy, unfortunately. Well, not with police, not with and many was, police. When we were over there, I was talking to uh, some people that were over by the bus station and they were saying that, uh, Fullerton police give them so much hassle, so much problems, constantly, all the time. I just don't get it. Come on. Picture Perfect's in the chat. What's up? Picture Perfect's got some shit going on, man. He's got quite an interesting case, cases on his plate. Sassy girl, thank you, MC Veteran. El Rulo. Yeah, they are they are coming at Picture Perfect. The town of Broken Arrow is coming at that guy, fucking left, right, and center. Uh, Picture Perfect, or somebody, uh, somebody throw up uh, Picture Perfect's link in the chat. Uh, there goes a the guy. What's up, guys? How's it going? Hey man. <laughs> Overtime. Did you see his license plate? O V A T Y M E. And he just came out of the police department. Yep. I tried to flag him down. He saw me. He fled the scene. We've got gang members fleeing the scene, armed gang members fleeing the scene. In progress. <laughs> We're going to need a supervisor, air unit. <laughs> uh, since he didn't get to park in the employee lot, he might be the, like the head fluffer. Um, well, you can go to the front. It's just all public parking. Go ahead. Go do that, dude. You like all of us. Yeah, go sub picture perfect and watch. Uh, picture perfect. Do you ha picture perfect? Do you have a video? summarizing everything that's going on thus far that you can send people to if not that's okay i just was curious i know we you and i had talked extensively on the uh on the mobile telephone but i also don't know if you can publicly disclose the things that you said to me on the mobile telephone okay all right, picture perfect. Yeah, uh, Bell's not with me, and we're like 90 minutes south of LA right now. Yeah, picture perfect. The short version is, uh, picture perfect was arrested. Uh, they tried actually. They tried to kill him. Um, he had a. He was doing an open carry in a park. Some Karen called, and. Um, when the police came out, they put his hands up 
as instructed, and they shot him in the stomach with, I don't know, 20, 30 rounds of pepper balls. And what they, so not only is that an excessive amount, if you know the tactics of police, all they were trying to do was to make him drop his hands so they can say he was going for his gun and we had to execute him. No, I was telling something important. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I was just going through the Transparent California, all the overtime at Fullerton. Yeah. 374 is the highest, and like 130 is the lowest. Dude, I've got a cut and paste that I send to people because people are shocked as yeah. fuck. And actually, what I didn't realize is that the trans, for those of you that don't know, Transparent California is where you can see all of the um, salaries for any public employee in the state. That was actually a California Supreme Court case. Where they, where they were like, you can't publish our fucking salaries. That's private information. And the California Supreme Court said, um, in, the, in the name of transparency, it's more important that people know what people are making than not. Which... Do we know if it's actual the facts or if it's just... Oh, no. That, I mean, if it is, well, I mean, it's information given no, by, no, by no, the no. department, so obviously it can be skewed, but, you know. Okay. Yeah. But, but if you go... If you go on the city of San Jose, if you because you can go on transparentcalifornia.com by cities. If you go on the city of San Jose, the top person in the city of San Jose is making like seven hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars. He's like the city manager or something ridiculous. I'm not even kidding you. People, I have gotten so much flack from people that are like, "That's bullshit." There's no way that those guys are making that amount of money, which is what my reaction would be if I was in a, any other city in in the country where cops made you know forty, sixty, seventy thousand tops. Um, you know. Uh, Kaylor, yeah, uh, his hands were up. Uh, Picture Perfect's hands were up, and he had a gun uh, strapped to him, um, and they shot him with, I, I think, about 20 to 30 pepper balls to the chest. Why would they need to shoot that volume of pepper balls to his stomach? Uh, Picture Perfect, way back when he got arrested oh, like three years ago. Um, why would you need to send that many rounds down range of pepper balls unless it was your uh, intention to have him drop his hands towards his gun so you could execute him that's you guys need to understand you guys need to come from a psychopath's perspective so i don't know think they help i think they might Oh, there we go. Yeah, paper plates. Bravo, Papa, nine five, golf two five. Hey, what's up, man? You got any psychopaths that are still working here? You fit the description. No, I look like a security guard. Yeah, I said that there was, there was some kind of deal. Nice Lexus. Yeah, there's about 50 G's in it. Oh, easily. They spent, they, they, they have a big budget here, too. I remember yeah. looking that up before, too. They do something like that. Yeah, that's a cop. Porsche. With no front plates and driving a fucking Porsche with that look. Did you see that look on his face? Yeah, like, no, like he got a text where they were like, dude, don't come to the, uh, I'm looking to the Northwest Gate look or whatever don't fucking... Yeah. yeah. Don't look at the bright light. Avoid... What would they call it? Like, Batman Citizen? Although 
Vermont? Yeah, they're the sovereign citizens, right. so I mean... Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to need to get everybody's uh, plate in front of the. You know that, Johnny. You know how they look. In front of here. Don't get my plate, Johnny. No, not yours. Uh, on this side. You had already ran your VIN, bro. What did it come up with? Stolen. Can't tell you. It wasn't my name. Okay, flow. plate cover. That's certainly not legal for you or me. Oh, no front license plate. Yeah, these are definitely police vehicles. And the super tents in the windows. What? Yeah, yeah, limo tents everywhere. We're not... Oh, look, the... Look, the windshield is tinted. No, no, but... Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. You can't even see the steering wheel. The, the, the windshield is tinted on this vehicle. Can you guys see that at home? Yeah, you, you, can barely see the, you can barely see the steering wheel. You'd be able to see it a lot clearer than that. So, just weird. Uh, we got a call. We got a call for suspected gang activity. So we're just checking it out and police vehicles and illegal windshield tents. And most of these guys are most of these guys are cops. I'm guessing that. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. The uh, it's the 10 year anniversary tomorrow of Kelly Thomas's execution by the Fullerton Police. Oh, so I'm, that right? that I don't know if you're familiar with that case. Yeah, yeah we just met with his. His dad came in from Arizona. And we just met at the crime scene. And uh, there was a, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, just, just heartbreaking. And oh, yeah. so, Definitely. um, you got problems from those guys at all? They give, no, I don't. Somebody broke my front windshield, but uh, while it was parked there? Yeah, I live right here. While it was parked there? The out. Huh? Well, while it was parked there? No, I, I parked right here because it's just left my house. With all, all those cameras and they can't, they can't help the neighborhood I, out? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You, you see the, do you see the front windshield tin? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, you, you can barely even see in the front of this the, the vehicle. Yeah. You'd get I, I, I would. Especially look at look at that cover on that plate. Yeah, you you and I would get we we get pulled over and possibly shot and killed. I mean. Shoot, shoot my um, I had a well, it's not from here in Anaheim though, but my my uh, tail hitch was obstructing obstructing their their view of my my. Get out are of Are you my serious? Place and I got pulled over. Yeah. You ball on your hitch? Yeah, just because the ball is like just. Get out of here. Over. Fuck out of here. That's what they told okay. you. Okay. The ball on his hitch was too high and it was obstructing. My God. The, welcome to Orange County. Hell oh, yeah. No, you know what I mean? I'm from LA. So, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah you, you can fire off a magazine in LA and people are like, yeah, you know what I mean? No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Trailer hitch. Crime of the century, bro. Oh, I, <laughs> Dude, I, how long have you been a convicted felon? <laughs> right? All right, man. Be safe, dude. Have a good, yeah.
Watch out for gang members here. Yeah, some gang activity. <laughs> oh my God, can you believe that? Listen, can you believe that his trailer hitch, the ball on his trailer hitch was too high. It was obstructing the view of a license plate. My God. My God. All right, you guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Um, so those of you coming in late, the, tomorrow was the 10 year anniversary of the uh, execution. One of the worst police beatings still to this day and of, of a person ever of Kelly Thomas, who was a homeless guy, he was schizophrenic, who everybody that is uh, that lived in the area here said he was the nicest guy in the world and wouldn't hurt a fly. And six cops showed up three of them were charged two were found not guilty and the third guy they dropped the charges on because the da needed him to testify in an important case down the road and they didn't want to tarnish any cooperation with said gang member so yeah so happy 4th of July, everybody. We're here with Polly Glocks and Denise Lynn and another guy. Do, do you, are you, are you in the chat at all? Do people know your name in the chat or? Okay. Yeah. He's, he's just a lurker in the chat. Um, which makes him sus AF. <laughs> uh, we're going to play, we're going to place a tracker on his bicycle. Um, so, um, yeah, you guys, so that's what we're down here doing, and now we're at the Fullerton Police Department, and, um, yeah, so you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Happy 4th of July to everybody. Go, oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 thank you, thank you, though, yeah. Uh, happy 4th of July. I'm going to get home and help uh, medicate the canines because uh, Bell's having a difficult time doing that so uh we'll make it home in time for that hopefully so um yeah you guys are amazing and uh if you got any gabapentin in the house uh our vet has recommended that versus the doggy downers that they usually give them where their eyelids get all fucking droopy and shit uh we found that the gabapentin or benadryl it's usually uh one pill i think the pills are 25 milligrams or so um I think it's one milligram per pound. So uh, I would give Sirius Black four 25s and Poppy two. That also helps knock them out. And uh, runs some big white noise generators, put it over your loud Bluetooth speakers in, your, in a room so that it's fucking loud as fuck with uh, any kind of white noise or rainfall and thunder, you know, not maybe not thunder, but um, light thunder i've got one that does that i do at sleep at night sometimes uh so and also when the uh when the booms go off have some treats have some kibble in your hand every time there's a boom give your dog some kibble so they'll have a positive association um around it so yeah um is jd in here we were gonna uh, we were gonna knight JD, um, but he disappeared for a month. So fuck him. Um, no, I hope you uh, I hope you're well. I will check my PayPal right now. Thank you, Bell for Freedom. Last chance for hundred dollars. I'll rub his right his calf. Right, Polly Glocks. I'm doing it for the, the drone. Right. Anybody uh, ta any takers? <laughs> for two hundred, I'll do both of them. RV Hopper, thank you very much. Damn, RV Hopper. Uh, I think we got ourselves. Yeah. Do I have to rub? Yeah, calf? you got to rub calf. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's, we got RV Hopper. We got. He's got to rub calves. Uh -oh. One or two. I don't know. We got a hundred dollars there. Yeah. All right. Wait a minute. Here we go. Here we 
go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's come on, harder, Johnny. Oh. That's harder, Johnny. Come that's, on. That's, that's more of a massage. There's yeah, I'll do both. About that yeah, there's poly. no rubbing there. Right. That's not. That's not there rubbing. There we go. Yeah. There we go. There, okay. All right. That's it. More. <laughs> It's gonna cost more for anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, polyglocks, everybody. Okay. Wow, that got weird, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Ross Khan is rubbing one out right now in real time. You're welcome, Ross. <laughs> is it Ross? No, I'm, I don't know if Ross is in here, but I know she's rubbing one out. If she. Well, she texted me. Did right? she? All right. Because I'm watching you. All right. <laughs> then she is in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. There she is. <laughs> no, Philip Tom. No, it's only gay if there's eye contact. There yeah. was no eye contact whatsoever. So. Was, I didn't look at his ass. Y yeah. <laughs> Sulfur says things you can't unsee. That's right. <laughs> things I can't undo. <laughs> right. <laughs> Did he push? Oh, all right, you guys. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Have a good 4th of July, everybody. Uh, happy belated Canada Day to all of our Canadian friends. Uh, Denise Lynn. Remember, Kelly's, Kelly's Army. Army. What, 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 uh, don't wash it. Don't wash it. Uh, rub, it rub it on some parchment paper, Ziploc it, and send it to Ross. Ross Khan will PayPal you $100. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> There'll be some DNA. There'll be some re oh, residue. Okay. Don't, oh, okay. don't drive with that hand either. Just kind of yeah, enough, just enough about bodily fluids. Of yeah, DNA is not bodily fluids. Let me but, see if I can find a bag. So right. Yeah. Like, like a little glove, a little loose glove. Um. RV Hopper says I'm not gay. Just want to see footage in the future. All right, you guys. Thanks for being here. I appreciate everybody being here and. Um, yeah, Picture Perfect says it's only gay when it's done for free. Have a glove. <laughs> if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Uh oh. It fits. <laughs> oh, he's gonna fuck me. dogs, I'll do another one. Right, with Dr. Jellyfinger. <laughs> um, took a screenshot. Yeah, good. Post those all over the interwebs. So thank you guys for being here. I wish we were here on better circumstances. Go check out if if you really. I, I don't want to bum you out, but if you really want to see the gravity of what we were doing here today, go and uh, Google Kelly Thomas Fullerton because it's a very common name. Uh, Fullerton and and I think he said to to look for the full video because there's some edited versions of it. So um, yeah, it is one of the most hard just trigger warning in advance man if you know uh it's just an absolutely brutal video no it is devastating so just just be forewarned it is horrific just he's he's yelling for his dad and saying i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry and they're just so all right you guys thanks so much and um uh Tell somebody you love them today. All right.